Hello everybody, my name is John Siebers. I'm with Wool Cart Nissan here in beautiful San Antonio, Texas, and today we're going to be speaking about the all-new 2021 Nissan Titan and Nissan Titan XD. The Nissan Titan has a rich lineage starting back in 2004 when it was first introduced into the full-size truck market to be able to compete against the Ford F-150, Chevrolet Silverado, and Toyota Tundra. The Nissan Titan comes in five different trim levels, your S, SV, SL, Platinum Reserve, and Pro 4X, and does come in two cab configurations, King Cab, which is an extended cab, and the Crew Cab, which is the full four doors like I have behind me. The Nissan Titan XD also does come in five trim levels, the S, the SV, the SL, Pro 4X, and Platinum Reserve. But today we're gonna to be taking a look at SV models. First thing we're gonna look at is gonna be the Nissan Titan XD, and the very first thing that you're gonna notice about it is the large front grille. You still have your iconic Nissan emblem, which is synonymous with the Nissan Titan. All the SV models are gonna come with the gray painted grille with the bezel paint to match the color of the truck. Your front bumper is gonna be split into two different pieces, your upper part being painted to be able to match the color of the truck, along with the lower chrome end to be able to add a nice aesthetic appeal to it. This being the 4x4 model, you do have recovery hooks located at the bottom, so if somebody gets stuck in the mud, you need to be able to get your friend who's driving a Dodge out of some sand, you have the ability to be able to do so. Also, you can be able to tell that all of our trucks do have wraparound headlamps. All your SV models are gonna come with halogen lights, but you do also have optional LED projector lights on your SL, Pro 4X, and Platinum Reserve. Being wraparound is a huge safety feature to be able to have because you have integrated turn signals into the sides. So even if you're running parallel with another vehicle on the freeway, you can be able to make sure that you have maximum amount of visibility and are seen from that point too. Now the next spot we're gonna be able to take a look at is going to be underneath the hood, or as I like to call it, the ranch. Why do I call it the ranch? Because that's where all 400 horses live. Every Nissan Titan comes with a 5.6 liter endurance V8 engine that produces 400 horsepower and 413 foot-pounds of torque. This is gonna be the standard motor for every Nissan Titan and Titan XD. It is also coupled with an all-new nine-speed automatic transmission. Reason why we went with nine-speed is to be able to make sure that you get max amount of towing and also fuel efficiency. Having five Ford gears that are designed to be able to give you max amount of power very short, so for great acceleration underneath load, and then four overdrive gears to be able to maximize fuel efficiency when you're just driving around town or on road trips as well. This is all new technology for Nissan and is something that we are very proud to be able to introduce. This is where you're gonna see your big differences between the regular Titan and the Titan XD. We come over here and take a look that all the SV models are gonna come standard with 17 inch steel wheels with all season, all weather tires. With the Firestone tire, gives you great aggressive tread pattern for off-road without having to sacrifice any ride quality. So if you're just driving around town or across country, you won't have any driver fatigue from a lot of noise, humming, or vibration. Over here on the driver door, you can still see that you have your Nissan Titan XD chrome emblems on the side, along with chrome door handles, and then your V8 endurance badge on your front fender. Now all of our XD Titans are gonna come with these extendable tow mirrors. They do have integrated turn signals for max amount of visibility but also do fold out. So if you do have a larger trailer, you can be able to make sure that you can see on either side, sure that you can be able to change lanes accordingly. But these are also folding too. So if you're trying to get into a tighter parking spot, simply fold in, get into a tight spot, garage, and then simply fold right back out. That's also really handy too. So if someone does clip your mirror, it's gonna minimize any damage done to it. So you don't have to worry about any big repair cost or replacements of it as well. If you come down onto this side towards the bottom, you also notice that this truck is equipped with the Nissan running boards. Driver, passenger, and rear passengers all have steps into it. But what separates this from the traditional Titan is you have a third step, so it allows you easy access into the bed of the truck. So if you're reaching into a toolbox or just trying to be able to get something out of the bed, you don't have to go through the back to be able to get it. Very easy to be able to get into. Also the suspension setup. Now both of these trucks have variable leaf spring setups, very crucial with the ride quality of the truck. Indicatively, heavy duty trucks have a very rough ride when they don't have load on the back. So if you're just driving around town, you'll have a lot of rear hop in the back and just doesn't make for a very comfortable ride. By having your first set of leaf springs set up for more comfort and then your helper springs to be able to carry that heavy payload, you have consistent smooth ride quality no matter what your driving situation may be. Coming along to the back, the same design style and cues that you see in the front follow through to the rear. Wrap around taillights, your Nissan badge located right in the middle. 
Nissan Titan XD in chrome lettering along with your SV and 4x4, simply designating the trim level and that it is a 4x4 truck. Your rear bumper is going to be paint to match and you do have integrated backup sensors. This truck does have a backup camera which is located right here underneath the tailgate handle. Having two different systems makes it very easy to be able to maneuver a vehicle this size into a tight parking spot. So not only can you have visual cues, but also audio ones, so when you're backing up, if it's something you may not be able to see, at least you can be able to hear how far or how close you're getting to an object. Now the XDs do come with two different ways to be able to tow. First is going to be your class 4 receiver hitch, located right here. You do also have plug-ins for 4-pin trailer brake lights, and then a 7-pin electric trailer brakes. Into the back, you do have your setup for your gooseneck. The reason why Nissan went with a gooseneck is A for articulation. If this is going to be a work truck, they can support more weight than a fifth wheel. And then you also do have another plug-in for your 7-pin brake controller located right on the side of the bed. So you don't have to be able to drape the cable back over the tailgate into the back bumper. Now these are also dampened tailgates, meaning not only are they soft open, but one finger closed. Very easy to be able to operate. Another noteworthy feature to talk about that's going to separate both of these trucks is going to be the seating configurations. On this Nissan Titan, you can be able to see that you have a 40-20-40 bench seat in the front. What that's going to be able to do is give you additional seating for a sixth person between the front driver and passenger. Now that center console does flip down, giving you ample storage space inside the truck, and is available also on the Nissan Titan. But you see on higher trim levels, you, that would be replaced by a full-length center console. Now, all the Nissan Titans are going to come with Nissan's Intelligent Key. The way that this operates is as long as the key is inside your pocket or on your body, it'll be able to start the truck without having a physical key in the ignition. So you still have your lock, unlock, and panic button that you'd be able to operate just like any remote clicker. But once you get inside the vehicle, as long as it's in your pocket or inside the truck, you can be able to start and operate it without the key ever leaving your pocket. Now, this Nissan Titan has our convenience package and it also has our auto self-start. Just like with your regular Nissan Intelligent Key, you have a lock, unlock, and panic button. Obviously, not a lot of people know what the panic button does besides finding your vehicle in a parking lot at HEB or Home Depot. Just real quick, want to be able to go over, there is a strategic reason why the panic button is located on all these key fobs. The idea behind it is if you are being followed or you believe you're being followed to your car and have nobody around and you want to be able to make sure that you have a scene without you know, drawing too much attention to yourself, simply press the panic button. What do most people associate with the police? Lights and horns. Draws attention to the truck and the scene that's going on, allowing you to be able to exit off to the side to a well-lit area where there's other people. Little known fact, that one's for free. But the way that the self-start works is hit the lock button twice in a row, press the top button for five seconds, truck starts itself. This one does have automatic climate control for driver and passenger and two sensors that measure temperature, one on the outside, one on the inside. The idea is if it's 110 degrees outside like it is today and the interior of the truck is at 120, it wants to be able to turn on the air conditioner and run as quickly as possible to be able to get it down to 80 degrees inside the cabin. Also works in reverse when it's cold outside. If it's 40 degrees outside and it's 55 degrees inside your truck, it'll automatically turn on the heater crank it up as far as it'll go just to be able to get the truck to 80 degrees. So the idea is when you get inside of it, it's going to be at a very comfortable temperature. Now this will run for 10 minutes by itself. The alarm is still activated and all the doors are locked. If somebody were to be able to break a window or get into the truck without having the key, they wouldn't be able to start it. Actually, if they tried to start it, the truck would turn itself off. After 10 minutes, the truck turns itself off and goes basically back into its locked and armed position. You can extend that time by 10 more minutes by simply repeating the process, hitting your lock button once, pressing and holding the remote start for five more seconds to add an additional 10 minutes for a total run time of 20 minutes. If you decide that you're not leaving and you want to turn the vehicle off, simply press and hold the start button and then the truck turns itself off. So when we open up the door, the first thing that you're going to notice is a very large storage compartment with two larger cup holders. You have a Yeti mug, fountain drink, large bottle of water, you can be able to store those down here in the bottom without cluttering up your center console. Your armrest also leads into your power windows, power door locks, window locks, and mirror controls. You can be able to see how large those are, so if you're coming in from working on the job site or it's just wintertime weather, you can still be able to operate those buttons while keeping your gloves on. 
Now you can be able to see that this truck too has what we call our captain's chair setup. You have a console that spreads between both the driver and passenger seats with a large storage area, cup holders and cell phone holder, and then also a eight-way power driver seat with two-way lumbar support. You can be able to see that Nissan uses their premium material with contrast stitching as well with the uh, differentiating pattern for the inserts, adding a nice appeal and look to the truck. So what we're gonna go ahead and do now is jump inside and be able to show you all the controls and features of this Nissan Titan. So let me show you the operation of the Nissan Intelligent Key. Key is inside the truck. Simply just put your foot on the brake pedal, press the button once, the truck starts up. Very easy to be able to operate. Once you get used to it, if you've never used an Intelligent Key, it becomes second nature. Now let's say that you wanna be able to run accessories on the truck without having to be able to actually turn it on. Simply take your foot off the pedal, keep the key inside the truck, press the button once, it goes to your accessory mode, push it one more time, then it actually goes to the on position, and then to start the truck, foot on the brake, press the button, the vehicle starts. To turn off the truck, just as simple as pressing the button one more time. Now, let's talk about the ergonomics as far as how everything is laid out. Headlight controls can be located right over here to the left of the steering wheel. Once again, a large oversized knob, so if you have work gloves on or winter gloves, very easy to be able to use and operate. This truck does also have the auto setting, so set it and forget it. The sensors on the dash will be able to determine whether it's dark enough for those headlights to be able to come on or off, and will automatically do that along with dimming anything else like the electronics or dash inside the truck. Cargo lamp switch can be located right over here. Then also the switch for your power inverter, which is located in the rear, and we'll go over that here shortly. Now this SV model does come with a leather wrapped steering wheel, which adds a nice, soft, luxurious touch. Really, really enhancing the look of the, of the, of the vehicle itself too. Now you do have all your buttons within hand's reach on the steering wheel. So keeping your hands on the wheel, your eyes on the road, without having to be able to go too far out to be able to control anything. Starting over here on the left-hand side, your source, just as far as what your audio that you're listening to, AM, FM, XM radio, going back and listening to your iPod, be able to shuffle through those. Your enter, and that's be able to select any menus that you have on your onboard computer or the radio. Volume control, and then also your controls for your Bluetooth and Siri hands-free. Now this button right here with arrows left to right are going to control all of your onboard computer. Now getting over to the right side, this is going to be for your cruise control. So you can be able to set it, excel, coast, resume, pretty basic stuff. Cancel, which will leave the cruise control on, but erase any settings of speed that you had in there. And then also this button right here. Being that this truck does have adaptive cruise control, once you set a speed, let's say 70 miles an hour, you can be able to set the distance that you want from the vehicle in front of you. Now the way the adaptive cruise control works is it has a radar system built into the front of the truck it can be able to determine up to two vehicles in front of you how fast they're going in the distance. So if you're doing 70 miles an hour and you're coming up on a vehicle that's doing 65 miles an hour, based off of the distance that you have set, the truck will automatically slow down or apply the brakes, match that vehicle's speed, and keep you a safe distance away. Now if you change into a different lane or they exit off, the vehicle will then go back up to 70 or whatever speed that you had set, maintaining that as well. These are great safety features and convenience features to have, but remember, there is no substitute for an alert driver. These are just things to make your life a little bit easier. So now we're gonna start up here at the top of our center console. We do have your power controls for the rear window. By simply holding this down, you can be able to open or close. And it's great to be able to have that to be able to vent out the truck if you're on a hot day, sitting in traffic, or just want a little bit of fresh air for your four-legged friends. You have driver and passenger map lights controls for turning on all the lights or off, depending on whether you want them on when the doors open up or not, and sunglass holders, pretty simple stuff. You have a very large sun visor in the front with illuminated vanity mirrors. The thing that sets this truck apart is not only do they fold off to the side, but also extend to be able to cover all the way back to the door frame. So that little bit of sun that's coming through, you don't have to worry about that coming through and blinding you while you're driving down the road. Now this truck does have an automatic rear view dimming mirror. These two sensors can be able to detect whether a vehicle is coming up with their high beams on or just it's a little too bright and automatically dim down this mirror because you don't want to have to readjust your eyesight when it's dark outside and when that vehicle pulls back off you kind of compromise your night vision. So by automatically dimming that down 
makes it much easier to be able to see what's behind you, but then also to continue driving. Now starting here with our display, you do have a nine inch digital display, which is gonna be new for the 2021 Titans. And it's also very snappy too. The way that they engineered it is, it's very quick to be able to adjust, depending on which position that you want or what you're trying to be able to get to. It is also touchscreen, as you can be able to tell, so be able to go through any of your settings for the sound, navigation, map, whatever you'd like. And just like a smartphone, always has a back button, be able to get you back to where you were before. You do have knobs for your power, for your stereo and volume, and then also for your tuning, something a lot of people like. So we didn't go and get away with all that. It's nice to be able to have knobs. Then also all your buttons to be able to get quickly to any one of your menus as well. Now we talked about before, this truck does have dual automatic climate control. So the driver and passenger can be able to select different temperatures depending on where they'd like to be. So if the driver wants to be at 60 degrees and the passenger wants to be at 70 degrees, it can be able to split that up to where these two vents come out at 60 degrees and the vents on the other side come out at 71. The automatic part comes into it when you hit that button, it'll automatically adjust the amount of air coming out of the system and also where it's going to be able to maintain those temperatures that are selected. If you don't want to have the dual climate control on, just press the dual button one more time and everything reverts back to what the driver had set. Underneath that, you have the button for all your safety shield safety features, which we talked about before on the display, being able to turn all of those off completely or turning them back on. Your hazard lights. The button right here turns off your rear sonar system. So if you're backing up into a garage or you have a trailer that you're constantly backing up and you don't want that going off, you can simply be able to turn that off along with your traction control button too. Now you do also have two USB outlets. One is gonna be the new compact one as well. So you can be able to plug in two cell phone chargers, tablets, whatever it may be, along with ample storage space right here, and right below it. Having the convenience package, this truck does have dual stage front driver and passenger heated seats. Doesn't seem like a big feature here in South Texas, but when we get down into the 40s and 30s, great thing to be able to have. Now the other thing to be able to notice is if you are on a longer road trip, start to get a little bit of a crick in your back, your hips start to be able to hurt, being able to turn on that heat really helps to massage that away. And right to the left of that, you have your four-wheel drive selector. Right now you can see that we're in two-wheel drive. It's shift on the fly and up to 60 miles an hour. So by simply flipping into four-wheel drive, you'll hear that audible tone. And also on your dashboard, it comes up letting you know that all four wheels now are getting power. They say that you wanna use this really on slippery surfaces and it's not intended on dry asphalt, but if it's raining out or if you're going down a dirt road, perfectly fine to be able to use it. Like I said, shifting up to speeds of up to 60 miles per hour. You do also have a low range transfer box. So by simply putting the truck into neutral, pushing this in, now shifts into low four wheel drive. Low four wheel drive is used for extreme towing or off road conditions. Now to go from four wheel drive high to four wheel drive low, simply put the truck into neutral, push in the button, shift over to low four, and now you can be able to see that we are now in low four wheel drive. The reason you would ever want to use this is for extremely slippery or off-road conditions or for extreme towing. Basically it's about torque multiplication. By having such a low range of gear ratios, it can be able to maximize the amount of torque that's being put to the wheels, but then also be able to give you the most amount of tractional effort as possible. This is not used on normal on-road driving and really shouldn't exceed speeds of 14 miles per hour, but in the event that you would have to be able to use it, you have it at your disposal as well. Now shifting back out of four-wheel drive, low, simply put the truck into neutral, press forward into four high, and then, boom, you're back into four-wheel drive, and then back into two-wheel drive after that. And everything will come up on the indicators letting you know that the whole transition has been complete. The biggest thing to remember is to go from four low to four high, the truck needs to be in neutral. So let's go ahead and talk about the backup camera. You'll see on this nine inch display, you have a very wide angle view of exactly what's behind you. And you can see that you have three different sets of lines. Your two colored ones, which are gonna be green, yellow, and red. And those are indications as far as distance, as far as how close you're getting to an object. So green means you're good, yellow means you're getting close, red means if you go any closer, you might be swapping insurance information with somebody. And then also this center line, that is blue right there. 
So your blue line is actually going to be lining up to the rear hitch of the truck. So if you have a ball hitch on the back, you can be able to, with one person, be able to line the hitch up with your trailer without ha with taking all the guesswork back out of it. So you'd actually be able to see the ball hitch right below it and then line your trailer up directly with it. Now this also does have prediction as well. So if you turn the wheel from one side to the other, it's going to be able to give you the idea as far as where you're going to be going depending on which direction that the wheels will be cut. This is great so if you're trying to get into a tight parking spot, you can be able to do it knowing whether or not you're going to be able to fit or not. This is going to be standard on all the Nissan Titans with the convenience package. Talk about space and comfort. I'm six foot three, about 260 pounds. I'm a little bit on the bigger side, but you can see even with the seats moved all the way back into a seating position that I would be in the front, I still have tons of knee room, tons of leg room, and tons of headroom. So four or even five full-size adults could be able to fit very comfortably in the back of this truck. Other big thing to be able to notice is the amount of storage that you have. You have dual compartments on the back of each one of the driver and passenger seats. You do also have more storage area with another additional two cup holders on both the back doors. Cup holders located up here, so that's six total now. And if you fold down this center console, a total of eight for rear passengers. So there's never going to be a shortage for space for drinks. If we look at the back of the center console, you can be able to see that you have your nice Titan logo located right there. Rear air conditioning vents. Now these are going to run off of whatever the front driver has set for climate control. So if they're set at 60 degrees, the air that's going to come out of here is going to be at 60 degrees, but also you can be able to adjust the direction and then airflow coming back out. Underneath the AC vents, you do have two more USB chargers, a conventional socket. Remember that 120 volt power converter we were talking about before? This is where your plug-in is going to be for that. So if you're charging a laptop computer or a tablet or even like a wireless Bluetooth speaker, you can be able to do it off of the same cord with the ground that you would have in your house great feature to be able to have and really adds to the utility of this truck. Now the switch for that is going to be located right up at the driver's seat so just by simply flipping that on you have power just like you would in your house. Let's talk about flexibility and convenience back here as well. Following from the front seats you can still see that you have that contrast stitching and unique seat pattern designs that you had in the front also into the rear. Now both of these seats do flip up be able to maximize the amount of storage space. Let's say it's Black Friday and you bought three flat screen TVs and you don't want them laying around in the bed of the truck. By simply folding these up, you have a tremendous amount of storage space. Now both sides do flip up, but this is what they call a 4060. So the passenger side is gonna be the larger of the two that can flip up. So you can still have one seat down if you're just hauling something that's a little bit smaller. Also on the bottom of these, you have your grocery bag hooks. Let's say you don't want your gallon of milk and orange juice rolling over your eggs and bread. You can simply be able to hook up a couple bags of your more delicate things up here on top without risk of them getting run over with anything else that's you know on the ground. All your jack and uh, spare tire tools can be located underneath this seat as well. Very easy to be able to get to, but while the seat is down, once again, hidden away and out of the way. Now for safety features for child safety seats, you do have rear anchors located behind the seats for all three positions, one here, one here, and one behind the driver back seat, along with your anchors located right here on both outboard seats. So it can be able to adjust to any child safety seat that's out on the market today. In conclusion, I hope that you found this video very informative, be able to tell the difference between the Titan and the Titan XD and what's new for 2021. Really the only thing left is be able to come out and test drive it. We will have more videos on more trucks and also the Nissan lineup coming shortly. So if you'd like to be able to subscribe to our YouTube channel and get the notifications. So anytime one comes out, you can be alerted by it. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to our dealership as well. We'd be more than happy to be able to answer any questions that you have about the trucks and then also upcoming new models as well. Thank you very much, guys. It's been a pleasure. My name is John Siebers and I'm with Wolcar Nissan. Have a great day.